them do it until they kind of show me that they're not interested in it anymore. we're going to be desensitizing Kamani to a plastic kiddie pool that has a bunch of holes in it. And the reason we're doing this is the last few days we've been moving old furniture that's, you know, it's no longer standing, like my cat tree broke in half, things like that, to the burn pile. And she's fine with us dragging it, but the minute that she sees that they're not moving, she flips out, she raises her head, ears go forward, she starts snorting, tail goes up, she starts trotting circles. Her eyes are so wide that you can see the whites of her eyes. I want her to be a trail horse, and if she's going to act like that every time something new happens, uh, that's not going to be a very good trail horse. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to be, whenever I can find an object like this pool, we're going to be introducing it to her. But for now, let's show you guys an overview of the pool. So here's an overview of the pool. There's a big hole in it. Not a big deal. There's a hole here, hole here. This will flatten out as she walks on it. The first thing I think I'm going to do is drag it over while hanging on to her and me jumping around in it. Getting her used to it without her being on it. So I'm going to let her investigate it. And then I'll get in and make noise. Nothing scary. Now some people rush them when they're investigating stuff. I like to let them do it until they kind of show me that they're not interested in it anymore. Kind of like that. And then I'll back her up. All I'm going to do is walk in it, flatten it down a little bit. Let her really hear that noise before she gets in it. See, she doesn't like me beside her. So I'm gonna just kind of bring her back that step. Okay. There. I'm gonna try and send her through and we'll uh, see what we get here. If she wants to investigate, she's more than welcome. Again, the point is so that they're not afraid of it. She goes forward and smells it, I'm gonna leave her alone. That's her trying. A lot of people would get mad and start whacking them on the butt and really getting after them right now. Right now she's trying, she is going forward and she is showing interest in it. She's licking and chewing after she smells it. So let's send her forward a little bit more. Good. I don't mind my horse taking their time. I'd rather them take their time than bolt through it and be afraid of it. Good girl. There. Good, that's okay. Now there, I'm not going to correct her. There she put her... I almost said paw. There she put her hoof in it, and it moved, and she got a little frightened. But notice she didn't take off. She just kind of took a couple steps back. I'm not going to get after her for that. There, good girl, I'll reward that. She lifted her leg and thought about it. <laughs> good girl. Good, she's trying. Good girl.
keep up that pressure. Good girl. Kind of crunched into her other leg. Let's see what we can get out of that answer. There. Okay. So somebody might ask, well, what if your horse is just going in a circle? You know when you are trying to get your horse to go over or through something and they just go in a circle. I would shorten up your line and just try to stay by their shoulder or behind their drive line and just keep asking. Once they give you a smidgen of the right answer, whether that's standing still and looking at it, stopping their head and smelling it, pawing at it, uh, then I would reward them, walk them away like I'm doing right now and just give them a rest. And they'll start to figure out that going around it and ignoring you doesn't work. You can even take them and work them away from it and rest them near it. And eventually they'll start wanting to be near it because that's where they catch their breath, just kind of like a trailer. So there's a lot of different things that you can do to correct that, but she's not doing that, but that's just in case somebody's wondering. Or there, let this look, I'm not even applying pressure. And there's my other front leg. I'm not applying any pressure here. I'm gonna let her figure it out. I'm gonna leave her alone right here. There, she just took some more stuff forward. There. I'm gonna back up a little bit more to give her some space doesn't feel so claustrophobic. There. Starting to brace here a little bit, so I'm going to push that face away. There. See, so you're kind of leaning my way. So I'm just going to ask her to move. She's not moving. So I'm going to start tapping her. There. That's kind of her warning sign, me tapping on the ground. So you're bracing back, that's okay. If she wants to back up, good girl, it's okay. If she wants to back out and leave like that, I am not going to get after her. She needs to know that if she's nervous, she, she can take herself away from the situation and she's not going to get in trouble. get away that she felt like she needed to and then I just told her to a stop so let's send her through again she did not like her back legs in it yeah now all your snacks are gone because you broke out the bottom more pressure because she showed me she can get her front legs almost over almost all the way through so I did add pressure until she went through much better good girl Get a piece there, a piece there, all these pieces here. There's a piece over there. And look at the pool now. Hi, Mama. <laughs> That's okay, though. It breaking it builds her confidence. That's okay. Again, use something that you don't care about. All right, that's going to end today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> Bye.